Hello and welcome back to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news and myself, Amata. Today is still the 2nd of December and I have a little bit of news for you from the PS4 and also a little bit of a comparison to the Xbox One as we have had some information regarding the sales figures of both consoles as that we have a couple of pieces of news for the PS4 in the UK and that their sales have outstripped the Wii U's lifetime total in a matter of hours following the release of the PS4 in the EU and the UK last week. Now, Retail Monitor Chart Track said yesterday morning that the PS4 has become the fastest selling console in UK history. Now, unfortunately, they did not give specific sales figures, although I'm sure we'll be getting them probably at the end of the month just to see, you know, at the end of the month's totals. Retail sources have since claimed that Sony has moved over 250,000 consoles within 48 hours. Now, despite launching one year prior to both the Xbox One and PS4, the Wii U may now be relegated to third place in terms of next-gen UK console sales. Now, in late November, when Xbox One, of course, was released pretty much worldwide, um, the Xbox One sales hit 150,000 units in the console's first 48 hours of availability. And that's, of course, within the UK, which is just a few thousand units short of the Wii U's total UK sales since release. Now, in terms of worldwide sales, Sony has said that PS4 sales hit 1 million units in the first 24 hours of availability, and that's following the North American release, so this gives you a little bit of an idea of how many consoles they sold. And worldwide Xbox One sales topped 1 million units in the 24 hours following its November 22 launch, and that is, of course, according to Microsoft. So, both consoles are pretty much neck and neck at the moment, but the PS4 outselling the Wii U is... Both impressive and a little bit sad for the Wii U, of course. The Wii U has been a little bit troubled, to say the least, since its launch, but the Wii U wasn't the only console to find itself bested in the sales figures department. Because the PS4 also beats the eight-year sales record he he held excuse me, by the original PSP, and that's not, of course, the PS Vita. And so that's the entire eight-year life sales record of the PSP. It has beat them within the first few days. And the PSP, within its first three days of original sale, sold 185,000 units. So just to give you a rough idea. So it's hard to say if anyone is quote-unquote winning at the moment. I don't think anyone can really win as such. I think both consoles are going to be pretty much neck and neck for a long time. It may start to taper off in one favour or another, but we won't know which favour that is until, well, it actually happens. I really hope we get a breakdown of sales figures soon, as in, I want worldwide figures within the first day, uh, of course for Xbox One, and then North America and UK, blah, 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 blah. And basically, I just want to know at the end of the month who has sold more and, you know all that good stuff. I do kind of feel a little bit sorry for Nintendo and the Wii U because, well, I'm a fan of Nintendo. I am. They make good games. I've got a 3DS sitting on my shelf there and I had a DS as well back in the day. Now, we do have a Wii downstairs. It's not mine. It was for my younger sisters. Um, So, you know, I've, I've used a Wii. I've played on a Wii, but I was never really a huge fan of it and I haven't actually played on the Wii U. But to be honest, Nintendo didn't really give me any reason to, and I think many people felt the same way. And it's a little bit sad to see it getting so thoroughly thrashed by both the Xbox One and PS4, as of course the Xbox One just fell a little bit shy of beating its lifetime sales record and the PS4 actually beat its lifetime sales record. So that can't be a nice feeling for Nintendo, but I don't think we should count them out just yet. I think that Wii U has got a tough road ahead of it now that the console monoliths known as the PS4 and Xbox One are actually out in the wild. Of course, availability for both if you didn't pre-order is still pretty, you know, slim. But still, they are out, and of course, as we get closer to Christmas, more consoles are going to be released to retail stores and so on. So more and more people will be buying them, and I expect to see some more sales figures as we go into the new year as of course availability continues to go up and the consoles become less like gold dust. So I do worry for the future of the Wii U. 
I have to say, I'm not going to lie, it doesn't look very bright at the moment if the PS4 and Xbox One continue on like this. It doesn't look very positive, but it is Nintendo, I'm sure they're aware of what's going on and they have to come up with a plan. Let's just see if they manage to do so. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.